Approximately 1 minute and 40 seconds prior to flight 587's departure, Japan Airlines flight 47 departed the same runway. The Japan Airlines flight followed a departure flight profile that was similar to that intended by flight 587 and was a standard departure flight path from JFK. Flight 587's takeoff and initial climb out were normal until reaching 1700 feet when the flight encountered the wake from the preceding 747. This initial wake encounter consisted of a 0.03 g drop in normal load factor, a 0.07 g lateral load factor, and minor flight control perturbations. The pilots briefly discussed the event, recognizing it was a wake encounter, and continued the climb out. 15 seconds after the first wake encounter, and while the airplane was in a 20 degree left bank, a second wake encounter occurred. In response to this encounter, the first officer, who was flying the airplane, began a series of alternating rudder and control wheel inputs. These alternating control inputs resulted in a rapidly increasing side slip and an increase in load on the vertical stabilizer. Within seven seconds of the first control input, load on the vertical stabilizer increased to levels in excess of the design ultimate load, and the vertical stabilizer failed and departed the airplane. Following the failure of the vertical stabilizer, airplane control was lost. Increasing side slip and lateral loads caused the engine attachment structure for both engines to fail, and the engines departed the airplane as well. Ten seconds after the second wake encounter began, the flight data recorder ceased functioning. Fourteen seconds later, the airplane crashed into a residential area of Bell Harbor, New York, killing all 260 people on board the airplane and five people on the ground.